what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're going to be using one of my favorite ghost types of all time chandelure you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live also guys if you want to leave me rental codes for pokemon sword and shield leave them on my twitter either dm me or tweet me over my twitter jeans youtube over on twitter link is down in the description below but let's get started here with today's team preview we have a nice little meta team with chandelure on it so this team is going to be great for pushing master and we have thunderous or i should say defiant thunderous starting off in that top left corner we have lumberry as item then he's rocking wild charge fly protect and brick break which is a great fairly normal moveset for any thunderous second pokemon is going to be our Nice little prankster, Grimstrong. Nice little support mom with the Iron Ball. We got Foul Play. We got Light Queen. We got Trick to actually hand off that Iron Ball and take opposing opponent's items. And then last but not least, we got Thunder Wave for a little bit of speed control and paralyzes. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be our first restricted. It is going to be Ground Drought and the White Herb as its item. We got Precipice Blades, Stone Edge, Protect, and Bulk Up to give us that amazing attack and defensive boost for our Groudon. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Zacian over here, and this Zacian is going to be the substitute Zacian moveset. It's got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, obviously, for its item and ability, and then it's rocking Iron Head, Play Rough, Protect, and Substitute. So, you know, if we got a chance to set up a substitute with Zacian, we're definitely going to roll out in that because Zacian with Substitute is pretty OP once you get it set up, but it's tough to actually get it set up. So, hopefully, we can get rocking with that and grab some wins with that Pokemon. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Rillaboom over here with the Grassy Surge and the Soul Fest. This Pokemon is just too good not to bring on any team. It's got the Grassy Surge, first of all. They take terrain control from any opponent. It also has that Soul Fest, so it's really bulky. It gets first turn priority and more damage with its Grassy Glide mood, move. And then it's got a great other three moves with high horsepower, fake out for flinches, and you turn to pivot out. I really love using Rillaboom. I just think it works great on any single team. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Chandelure. And I cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon, and I think a lot of people actually like this Pokemon as well. It's got Flash Fire, then it's got the Focus Sash, and then it's Rocket Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, both for Stab, Protect, and Alice, which to, you know, protect allies Pokemon. But guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Series 12 Chandelure team. I'm feeling good today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm guaranteeing you guys a winning record or even a perfect record in today's video. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. I'm feeling good. We're going to grab some wins for you guys. But we're going up against a nice little Palkia and Zacian team in battle number one with Rillaboom, Grimstarl, Defiant Thunders, and Incineroar. Makes me want to lead my Thunders, but I don't know if he's going to go into his Incineroar. Thunderous is still a solid lead. Like, we can always Dynamax some, some speed control and kind of roll out the battle from there. Is that what I want to do? I could actually go in the Chandelure. Chandelure is not bad, especially up against Zacian or even Rillaboom. And then it could dodge fake outs as well. So, you know what? I'm going to go Chandelure. We're going to get rocking out with Chandelure in, uh, for our first Pokemon. Then, then we just roll out with Thunderous and then bring Ground on Zacian in the back end. That does sound lovely. It does sound rather lovely. Is that what I do? Do that. Do I do that? I kind of want to bring Thunderous for a lead. I kind of want to take him out here, but I feel like he's. Could go Groudon. Groudon's not too bad in case Intimidate wants to roll out here. Groudon's not too bad, but you know what? I'm going to go Thunderous. I'm going to go Thunderous. Groudon's asking in the back end. Let's roll out. Let's roll out strong here. Look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. You guys know the deal. For the first battle, even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are your top three favorite ghost types in all of Pokemon? That's an interesting lore. It's definitely in the top three for me. I, I, I couldn't give you guys any other answers. Maybe like Gengar, because I think Gengar is sick, but everybody does. But I'm curious to see what your guys' answer are. Let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, I feel like if I definitely sat down there and like looked at all the Pokemon, I could be like, yes, I like him. I like him. I like him. I think Marsh Shadow is really cool too. But he's a legendary, so I wouldn't put him on my list. <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird like that. But he's going to end up going in with these two, which is totally fine. We got Shanlor, and he probably thinks I'm, I've been Prison Trick Room. Probably thinks I'm rocking in Prison Trick Room, and I might just go for an attack boost here. I could definitely go for an attack boost. I could go for a Heat Wave, but I'm thinking of maybe just going for Shadow Ball at this point. Hmm. What's Jeans gonna do here? This has a chance to lower in special defense. I'm gonna throw this on the Palkia, and then I'm just gonna go into a. Uh, I don't think we should airship. I think we already have speed. I could go into a Knuckle here. I might. I really want to do that. I really want to go into a Knuckle. Just for a swift attack boost for this guy. He'll be really, really good for me. I could hard swap into Groudon. I could definitely do that, and just so I get the double attack boost across the board. But I just like Chandelure. I really just like Chandelure here. So, you know what? We're going to roll in that. We're going to roll in this. Let's see if he Dynamaxes. Because I'm Dynamaxing. I'm getting right after this. I'm getting right after this. And we're getting right into this Palkia. He could be popping a Trick Room. Maybe I should have popped the Lightning. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine. He probably thinks that we have Imprison. 
Because you know that is the most mainstream moveset for uh, Chandelure is Imprisoned Trick Room moveset. But uh, hopefully he thinks we're rocking with it so he just pop a Trick Room. Let's just see what he does from here. He's gonna do something with Grimstar. What are you doing with Grimstar? Oh, you are a Dynamax Palkia. Or, oh, okay, I see you. I see you. We do have Focus Ash on our uh, Grimstar, or not a Grimstar, on our Chandelure, which is really good. So if he wants to roll into a Geyser into that slot, I'm totally cool with that. I am totally cool with that. Let's see what he does. We shall see what he does. I can definitely see guys are coming across here. Maybe like a screen setup from Grimstar. We're going to drop the Knuckle. We're just going to take this attack boost. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but again, I just wanted that attack. The attack boost is going to come out here. And then we're going to start getting the Geyser. We shall see what you're going to do. Are you going to Geyser? He is going to Geyser. So Chandelure's uh, Focus Ash is going to pop here. Unless you're going after Thunders. He is going after Thunders, which is a little weird. I'll take that all day. Maybe thought we were swapping, maybe thought we were protecting. But I could actually hard swap into the ground out at this point. Get some heat out here. I think we should be fine. I think we're chilling here. Shadow Ball's gonna fly. Built, not bad damage. Give me that special defense drop. We do not get it. And a foul play's gonna fly, which KOs me. Ouch. Ouch. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That one definitely hurts the soul. Okay, uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Zassian could come out here. I kinda wanna roll into him. We can get all, we can get some work done with Zassian. I'm with it. We'll save our ground on. We will save our ground on. Because one foul play should be able to take out that Palkia. No problem, right? One foul play should be able to take out that Palkia. But I can't believe they double down into my Thunders like that. That's surprising. That is surprising. But we lose our Dynamax Pokemon early. Hopefully, we can make up to it in this back end. But, uh, yeah, one foul play should be able to take him out. So, I might just drop a Heat Wave. Uh, I could protect. I could definitely ally switch here. I think I am going to ally switch. And just play rough into it. Or I could set up a substitute. Ooh. Because Palkia might protect here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. How can my guard here? It does not guard, but we're going to go for his ally switch. We're going to get after it. I'm going to swap that place is here. He's going to end up going for a scary face, and he's going to slow down my Chandelure. No way you read that ally switch. Oh, no, he slows down my Zassian. I'm with that all day. So I'll get sub up. Sub up. Now go after him. Now go after Chandelure. That ally switch could be clutch. Could be so clutch. Quake's going to come through here. That's definitely going into the Chandelure slot. I'm with it all day. So we got that sub set up. Focus Ash is poking. We like that turn. I could protect. I could definitely protect, but I, I want to go straight into the play rough here now that we have this uh this substitute set up. I really do like that. Ginge really does like that. Ginge really does like that turn. Chandelure with the ally switch. Beautiful. So from here, I might just uh I might just ally switch again. I might just ally switch again. Might as well. Might as well throw him in a blender here. Have him all confused. He doesn't know what I'm doing, but that's that was a perfect ally switch. That was a perfect ally switch because he would have taken out my Zassian, no problem. He would have taken out my Zassian, no problem. No problem. We like that all day. So we have sub set up. It's really, really good. And we have Groudon in the back end. So we're going to set another ally switch, try to play with the Root's head. And let's we'll see if that does anything. Let's see if he predicts the ally switch. We're going to actually go first, which is gorgeous. Play can come out here. Is that KO? It should, right? See you later, pal. Get a big, big turn. Big, big turn from us. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. We have sub set up still. Hopefully, this Grimstar does not take it all. And I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder what he's going to do here. He's going to go for a foul play here. And it's going to go into a Chandelure slot. Okay. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Yo, Chandelure did some work. He did some absolute work. So now we can actually bring out my uh, Groudon with the White Herb. If he goes into Intimidate, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I, I would think he has Incineroar in the back end, right? We, we, we would think, right? We would think I would love the bulk up this turn. I would absolutely love the bulk up, but maybe I shouldn't now that this thing is rocking foul play. But I can just get rid of it with a behemoth blade with the speed control that we have. So I might go for that. I might bulk up. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what he wants to do. Hopefully he's not rocking Incineroar, but he has to have it. What other Pokemon did he have? Did he have Zacian? I think he does have Zacian. Yeah, he's gonna throw out Zacian. So at this point, I'm just gonna behemoth blade and go into a uh go into a blades here, right? Definitely, definitely a play call, right? Definitely a play call, 100%. That thing could protect, but if it does, it does. That's totally fine. The droughts can come out here. It's not going to really do anything, but yeah, we got to drop a blades here. And I think that my uh, my Groudon should be able to take out that Zassian in one shot. Let me see. Let me see your stats, dude. Let me see your stats. Oh no, he's not really high into attack. I think he really, it really relies on the what's it called to uh, beef it up, the bulk up. So do I bulk up? Nah, nah, nah. We're not even gonna take that risk. We're just gonna go straight into a Behemoth Blade on this slot, and we're gonna drop a Blades. So let's see what he does. Even though Zassian might actually protect here, I kind of want to bulk up. 
But still, I just think we have to keep pressure. We have sub out with our uh, Zassian. We have my boy Groudon chilling here. I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. We're just hoping we can soak up at least one Zassian shot. Zassian is going to be a pain. I swear, yo, if this Zassian protects, I'm going to be a little upset. Because I, I, I was this close to reading it. He goes first. He's going to go for a blade here. Go on the ground, please. Do not take off my sub. Let's see what he does. He is going to take off my sub. That's really good that we're rocking sub. That's really good. Maybe he thought I was protecting, but I'm chilling here. Sub suit's going to fade. My Zassian's going to go next, which is gorgeous. I kinda, I'm kind of hoping that's just a speed tie. And Behemoth Blade's going to easily take this out. And then we're going to be able to roll into the blades here, which hopefully connects does some big old damage. And of course, this thing's Sash, but at least we have blades poking here. We just need a double. We just need the, the double connect here. Good, good. Precipice Blades comes out here. Double connect. Let's go. We're going to say bye-bye to Grimstarl. And oh my god, so close to taking out Zassian. So close to taking out Zassian. Okay. Let's see who he goes into here. I wonder if that Zassian uh, was a speed tie there. I wonder if it was a speed tie. And now he finally brings out Incineroar. And I'm surprised he didn't bring out Incineroar a while ago. I'm surprised he didn't bring out Incineroar a while ago. And I wonder who he's going to fake out here. I do wonder who he's going to fake out. I really do. White Herb comes back to normal. That's huge for us. I could double protect. Which I might do. So we don't waste a turn. I think double protect some here. But. Um, yeah, do I double protect here? Do I double protect? I'm thinking I'd do it. Just to just to stop the fake out from rolling through. But uh let me see. 195. Are you maxed out on speed? You are not. So that thing is definitely faster than us. It was not a speed tie. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna double protect here. Gives me no reason not to. So I'm gonna just protect and I'm gonna protect. He can't really do anything, he can't really set up with any of these Pokemon. So I'm really cool with this. I am definitely cool with this. But yeah, I just feel like next turn we go into a, a Blades and obviously a uh, probably double Blades. Behemoth Blade and Persepice Blades both into the Zassian slot, you know? Zassian's a real threat here. I'm gonna double protect so the fake out doesn't do anything. He was gonna go fake out my Groudon. I was gonna call that. Let's see if he was double down into it. He was, wow. We could have made an amazing play. We could have made an amazing play. But yeah, we're just gonna go for the Blades here. Super effective on both. And then we're just gonna Behemoth Blade onto this slot. Let's do it. 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 And the reason I am doubling down on Zassian is in case his Zassian takes out my Zassian. If his Zassian goes after my Groudon, then my Zassian takes out his Zassian. And then, uh, I think my Zassian could handle an Incineroar, right? Maybe. It would be kind of close. He is even on the attack board, but we'll see what he wants to do here. If I was him, I think he's going to go into a, uh, a Behemoth Blade and a Groudon, and then a Flare Blitz in his Zassian. Which the Drought does not help us at all. This is a close battle. This is a really good battle. My channel are definitely helping us out. Channel is definitely helping us out. He's gonna drop a blade. Go to ground on, please. Leave my assassin alone. He's gonna go to my assassin. Can we soak that? Probably not. We do not. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Okay, so we soak that up, or we just need to land this uh, blades, and then we win the game, right? Who dodged it? Incineroar dodged it. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I guess. I guess I can deal with that, right? We outspeed. What's he gonna do? Flare what's into me? Yeah, I go for Flare, but yeah, Groudon should be able to soak that all day. Groudon should be able to soak that. It's going to do a decent amount of damage, though. He's going to take mean re recoil. And I just think if we just land this blade, it's game over, right? Right? If we land this blade, it's game over. 100%. Base 120 power, stab. Just land it. Just land it. He has a Shuka Berry. Of course, man. Of course. So we legit just lost that match to this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? To a Miss Blades, we lose this match. A miss blades, we we lose the match. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. Miss attack, lose the game, and we're out playing like crazy. We were out playing like crazy. We had the Chandelure Alice, which is a sub setup, and we legit lose to a miss attack. There's nothing worse in Pokemon competitive battles than losing to a miss attack, and that is exactly what happened in the last battle. It's all good. I promise you guys a winning record, and you know what? We're going to win this second battle and third battle because I do not break no promises. We're going up against a Zacian and Kyogre team with Latias, Storm Drain, Gaston, and then he's rocking out with Incineroar and Grimstone as his final two Pokemon. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I roll out into it? I think he's going to lead maybe like Latias, right? Maybe try to get some Tailwind going? That could definitely be an option. We could go Grimstone just for a little bit of speed control and tricking Pokemon and taking their items. Could definitely be good. I kind of dig that. We also have Foul Play. We have we could go Thunders here as well in case he wants to do that Dynamax. I kind of want to go you and Rillaboom. I feel like, I feel like we, re, we can really control a lot of the battle with both these Pokemon. 
So, you know, I'm going to leave both of them because we can also fake out turn one. I really do like having both of them. And then we're just going to break ground on Zassi in the back end. And we're going to roll off from there. Let's do it. Let's do it. I just got to make sure I can uh, preserve my roll. Because if I can preserve roll boom and save him for the back end for Kyogre, it can really help us out. But if he leads Kyogre, we're just going to go straight into a grassy guy. Right after that boy. And try to get some damage off him. Okay? But I don't know who he's going to lead. He has a lot of different options who he can actually lead. He can lead the Latias, which I think he is going to do. But then we can just fake out on top of that. So let's see if he's going to end up leading. Latias and Kyogre. Okay. Um, hmm. At this point, I think I just thunder and fake out, right? Dynamax and drop the thunder. I mean, who could he swap into who's gonna soak up the thunder? That's the real question. Or I could just max knuckle and predict the swap or to protect. Right? I could set up the tailwind all day. Tailwind is definitely an option. Let me see what other Pokemon you were rocking with again. Um, yeah, dude, thunder's looking good unless he's rolling into Gastro. I just don't see him rolling into Gastro with a real boom on the field, right? So I kind of just want to. I might just airstream into this. Grain a little bit of speed for us. And just fake out here. He could Dynamax Kyogre, but I just don't see it happening, right? With all this going on, I just don't see it happening. I'm just going to fake this thing out. He could Ally Switch. That is an option here, too. That is an option here, too. But we're going to end up Dynamaxing our boy. I'm going to take a little bit of speed here. I just don't really see this Kyogre doing too much. Like, I, I just see him. He has to swap and protect. That's like... That's his plays, right? Like, there's no way you're staying in here with a Thunders and a Robum on the field. That'd be that'd be wild if he drops a Water Spout here. I'd be a little upset. He's gonna Dine Max. He is going to Max. So he's gonna Max here. He might change up the weather and drop Ice. But he might just go straight into a Geyser onto my Thunders. I mean, that's okay, I guess. We're gonna fake that thing out and then uh, take some speed. And then I can just start Grass Glide and double down into the Kyber. Hopefully, hopefully he will guard here. Just waste a turn. That could be big, that could be big time place for us. See, he does not guard. But still, we get off this fake out. Hopefully, my Thunder shows that we're a bit faster. That's some nice damage, roll boom. And he does. We're going to grant a little bit of speed here. Then I could double down until next turn. Or I might just U-turn out and drop a Thunder. That could be my play. That could definitely be my play. But I'm definitely scared of this geyser that's coming in hot here. This geyser is coming in hot. Who's he going after? Oh, he's going to hail some. Do not take out my roll boom. Leave my roll boom alone. Roll boom, eat this somehow. I love you, roll boom. Good place by Robo. We still have the surge out here. I could double down into him. Um, I could take more speed. I'm thinking of you turning pivoting. Save him for later. I mean, if he tailwinds, he tailwinds. There's definitely options. But maybe Robo might be faster as of right now. But drop now the real question is do I drop the thunder into the uh Kyogre and she turn out? I do not know. I do not know. I really want to thunder. I really want to thunder. I also want to airstream too. Yo, that thing's got a guard, right? He's got a guard. You know, we're going to do this, and we're just going to rip into a grass guide. He's really the only Pokemon I care about, the Kyogre. So if he wants to guard, he can guard. If not, we're going to drop an Airstream across. So Glide's going to come out here, deal some big old damage. Some big old damage. And then Airstream's going to fly. Can Airstream take out? I think it might be able to. Yeah, we just need some speed here. Does it KO? It does not. That hurts the soul there. That hurts the soul. But if he does Tailwind, then my Thunder still is faster. But we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. Is Tailwind coming out here? No, he's going to get straight for a Mystical Fire. So that's going to pick up the KO here. Um, that's totally fine because Thunder should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. And then I think I just drop another Airstream for the KOs. We'll see. Guys are coming out here. Yeah, he's going to set the weather. The weather's going to come out here. I think I just bring out Zassi and take and just completely control the speed. Okay, I'm with this. I'm with this. And I'll just save my ground on for the back end. Rain's back out and about. Um, hmm. Zassi's got to come out here. A little bit of Zassi in action. Do we know Zassian's best on the field? I wonder if I should take an attack boost or a speed boost. Attack or speed? It's gonna be better for us. I could sub. I could definitely sub. I could definitely sub. I don't want this attack boost. I mean, who does he have in the back end? Did he have Incineroar? He does have Incineroar. Attack boost might be nice because I can. If I had to guess, he has Zassian and again. I'm thinking of just going straight attack boost here for the KO, and then just uh, just doing this because this should pick up the KO, especially with an attack boost. I don't want this sub up, but it's all good. We're gonna knuckle here. Knuckle's gonna take him out all day. We'll take the attack boost for Zassian, and more importantly for our uh, Thunders as well. 
And Thunders has a lot of speed rolling for him on top of that. So if he wants to go into Incineroar after this, which he might be forced to do, it's going to put my Zacian back to normal and then my uh, my Thunders uh, an extra plus one. So Blades can come out here, and the reason I went in the Blade, I know it's not very effective. I knew we would be plus an extra one on attack, and plus its accuracy is higher. So I, I, I wasn't wasting, uh, a, I didn't want to waste a turn or like lose a turn due to a, a miss attack. Because, you know, play rough, play rough misses sometimes. And plus our RNG kind of stunk last battle. We missed one of our Blades and lost this game. I wasn't dealing with it again. So that's a great turn for us. That's a great turn for us, considering we have a Thunders plus two. His Dynamax is over. Um, he could go into, I don't, oh, do I protect on him? I might. Let's see if he goes into it. Yeah, he's poor spot and somewhere. That's totally fine. Zassian's back to normal. I could double protect, but Zassian, I think, is going to fly out here. Zassian does fly out here. And if I can double protect, I'm going to double protect. That's going to be my play. I would love to. I would love to. So that Max Knuckle actually came up huge. The Fine's going to poke here. We have Groudon in the back end, which is beautiful. I just think our only worry is going to be that Zassian, right? That lovely little Zassian. He's a problem. But I think I have protect on both these guys, which I would love to just double protect, just to, just to say, see you later, fake out. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I mean, the only the only problem would be if if, if the assassin has substitute. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll the dice here. I'm gonna gamble a little bit and say it doesn't. I'm gonna say it doesn't. I'm gonna say yo, things a little softy. He's gonna fake out and go for a behemoth. Let's see, protect coming out, bang, blocking, we blocking. Another protect coming out. Bang. We block it. I'm not I, I I'm just not dealing with this fake out. Fake outs can come in here. And yeah, show me no substitute. No substitute. Just go for attack move. Let's go. Good turn for us. So we was doubling down into there. Just doubling down into there. Okay, so from here I could just go into what do I do here? I don't want to double down into a Pokemon. I could go into a wild charge. You I mean, what are we? Plus two? Is he plus two? I think, I think my boy's plus two, right? So Wild Charge should be able to KO. Yeah, he's plus two. That should be able to KO. You know, I'm gonna drop a Wild Charge, get stab damage off, and I'm just gonna rip into a play rough right into the Sinsenor. Cause I just don't want this Ascian protecting and him eating stuff up. So he doesn't protect. I don't think he's gonna fare too well to his Wild Charge. It does not take him out, but that's a decent amount of damage. Let's do a good amount of damage. Play rough. Oh my God, dude. What is this? We missed that? It's rough. That is rough. That is super rough. He goes into my Zassian. Zassian might be able to eat that. Well, Zassian eats. Who are you going after? I really missed that. That hurts the soul. Flare, what's going to fire? We might be able to soak this. In the rain? No, no, no. Okay, so he does. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Um, At this point, I'm going to double down into Incineroar. I'm doubling down into Incineroar. Can I, land him? Can I land my attacks, please? Like, please and thank you? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. We'll roll out to the Groudon. Um, from here, we know Thunders is fastest on the field. And I, I gotta think that uh my Groudon can eat up a, a Zassian shot, right? I gotta think my Groudon can eat it up. It's bulked up on the HP board. I gotta think it can eat it up. And I gotta hope that it can land a blade. So, in this case, you know what? I could go Brick Break. Or I could just go into a Watch. But I, I just think Brick Break is probably a super effective shot. I'm just gonna roll into Blades. Let's do it. Let's do it. Zassi might protect here. He does not. Brick Brick's gonna fly here. It's gonna chip up some huge damage. And if I can just land this Blades, we're thriving here. I can just land this Blades. Like I said, I just need to be able to eat up a Zassi shot because we know Zassi's going after me. Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Yo, eat this up, Groudon. Eat it up. I swear, yo. If you don't eat this up, I'm gonna cry a little bit. You gotta eat this up. Thank you. I knew you could. I knew you could. Now just land the Blades. Blades comes out here. Yo, we landed Blades. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> RNG does not screw us over. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're one and one. Like I said, I promised you guys a winning record, so we're gonna hop into that third and final battle and get you guys that winning record. I got a little scared at the end of that battle. When I missed that playoff, I was like, dude, we're gonna miss a blade and lose this game again. I would have cried. I would have been super, super upset. But there it is, guys. One and one. We got ourselves our first win. And we're hopping into our second battle and we're going up against a really cool 10% Zygarde team. Look at it. He's got the Zy dog. Love that Pokemon. Really, really cool. Really quick, though. It is really quick. He also has the Metagross, who, if I had to guess, is weakness policy. The right is probably rocking brutal swing on top of that to proc it. And then he also has Yvelta and Rillaboom. And then Grips are on for a little bit of support. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like, dude, I just feel like uh, Rillaboom is going to be great. Nice little fake out Mon early on in the match. Could work as Wonders. But at the same time, I really want to bring in a Pokemon more like Chandelure. Because I just like Chandelure. <laughs> He's really cool. And Chandelure can't be faked out either. So, kind of do like Chandelure's lead. But I think Metagross is going to roll out strong here. 
Metagross could definitely be a problem. And I could leave Groudon just to max Quake that. Could definitely be a thing for us. Could definitely be a thing. What the Genes want to do? Actually, we could go Grimstone all here. We could go here. How about we do this? How about we do this? And then we roll into Zacian and Chandelure. I'm really liking that because say he leads that Metagross and he wants a proc weakness policy. I feel like we could just trick and take its uh, weakness policy, throw it the Iron Ball, and kind of just go from there. It does sound rather good. It does sound rather good. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. We shall see. But yeah, I promise you guys that winning record. I don't break promises. We win in that this one. We are winning this one. Just like I said in that last one. We, we won that one. We're winning this one. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Zygarde and Metagross are going to roll out here. And can I think proc policy? I'm guessing it can. I think I'm just going to uh, trick that thing right there. I'm guessing Zygarde has a focus ash here as well. I'm going to slow him down. I think I'm just going to drop the blades. I think I am just going to drop the blades. Or I could just Dynamax. I could straight up Dynamax. I could bulk up. Ooh, I could bulk up. I could indeed bulk up. I mean, what other Pokemon? He could swap into Yveltal here. You know, I am going to go for the bulk up. I could, foul, I could foul play here as well. What do I want to take? I'm going to take, take his item. He swaps into Yveltal, then I can't do it, but it's all good. He's going to end up Dynamaxing that. That's totally cool. I could have just quaked him. I could have just quaked him. That's fine. That is fine. We'll take his item instead. We'll say, Ayo, give me that item. We shall say, give me that item. So we'll take item. We'll give him the Iron Ball. We'll be able to bulk up. And then maybe we'll Dynamax. Really depends who he goes after. Really depends who he goes after. We're going to end up tricking him. Give me that item. What is that? Weakness policy? What we get? Yeah, weakness policy. Bulldoze can come out here. That's totally fine. He's Iron Ball now. And he gets a crit on me, of course. Of course. He lowers all of our speed. But the problem is he's going to just rip into me. But I should be able to eat up this shot. My speed is back to normal, which is huge. And so I'm going to be able to bulk up. So if I can eat up this shot after a bulk up. If I can eat up the shot after a bulk up. That could be gorgeous. That could be gorgeous. He's going to steal Spike. Go in the Grimmsnarl, please. He does go in the Grimmsnarl. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're bulked up. Um, We're plus one attack. I think I just dropped Blades. Or I could Dynamax. I could definitely Dynamax here. I'm kind of leaning towards it. I'm kind of leaning towards the Dynamax here, special defense boost, and then rolling into a Pokemon like Sassian. Just a player off. Might be faster than I thought, because it's kind of close. Hmm. Do I want to roll into Sassian here, or I can just roll into a Pokemon like you? Which wouldn't be bad. You're a solid little Pokemon there. Now, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I might sub up with, uh,. Zass. I might sub up with Zass. Obviously, I gotta go into this Quake here. I think I gotta Dynamax him. And go from there. He does have Iron Ball. He could guard it, but yeah, we are definitely Dynamaxing. We're gonna Quick Strain you. What, what do I do here? I play it off and trigger that? Hmm. Do I play it off or do I just sub up or protect? I don't wanna sub here. Not even gonna lie. Huh. What does Jeans want to do here? Because I do not think a Quake could take out. Quake might be able to, actually. So, you know, I am going to go for sub. Quake might be able to. We're plus one on attack, but he's plus one on defense. So, it's just like, he could probably out both his shot. He could probably out both his shot. But we're going to go first. He has two physical attackers out on the field. So, we'll see. Actually, is Zygarde 10% of physical? I think it is. I know Metagross is obviously a physical attacker, but Zygarde 10%. Yeah, I think it's physical. Just like regular Zygarde. So, we'll end up Dynamax here. We're bulked up. We have plus one on defense. He has plus one on defense as well, but we're plus one on attack, which is solid. And he is Iron Ball, which is great. So Substitute's going to come out here first. That's a nice little play. So if he wants to get off a Dynamax shot into me, we can block it and just eat it up. But he's going to end up going for a thousand arrows. And I think Zashin's sub should be able to eat that up. No, it doesn't. Wow, it fades. That hurts. That hurts soul. We're going to be able to Quake here. Can we KO? Probably not. I don't think we can, but hopefully we can. We'll see. Yeah, no. Metagross is a little bit more on the bulkier side. 8,000 arrows, and what's he going to do from here? We know we have speed. We know we have speed up. Protect probably would have been a better play here. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into Steel Spike. Go into Groudon, please. Oh, he's going to go into Sass. Can he eat that Sass? Dude, okay, so Sass is able to eat. Big time eat. That's a big time eat. That is a big time eat. And at this point, uh, we know we we know we outspeed a lot. I think I just do this, and I think I just go into play rough here. 
that triggered that focus ash. That Zygarde's rather annoying. But I wonder if we can eat up a thousand arrows. I do not know. Oh, just hit my desk. You guys probably heard that. I wonder if we can eat up a thousand arrows. I have some come out here. Cool. Just what I wanted. Just what I, just what I wanted. My player off some miss. Like like they always do. We still have speed you though. Of course, of course my player off miss. Like come on, yo. That's two. That's two, yo. I missed three attacks. And it's a 90% accuracy move. And I missed two of them. The last two player offs, I should say, I missed. That's exactly why in that last battle, I used Behemoth Blade and the guy over. Hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. So that's gonna happen. Um Hmm. What do we do from here? You're gonna bring out Zassian, right? He had Zassian, right? Pretty sure he had Zassian. He's gonna bring out Grimstone. So Grimstone's gonna come out here. Uh Huh. What's my play here? What's my play call? What's my play call? You can fake me out, obviously. I'm gonna quake. I'm gonna quake into you, and I'm just gonna play rough. I could actually blade. I could actually let's swap that shots. Let's swap those shots. Let's quake and uh, Behemoth Blade over on the side. That hurts the soul. So you're gonna glare me here. He's probably gonna glare me, right? You're gonna glare me. Oh no, you're just gonna straight thunder wave me. They straight thunder waves me. Probably a thousand arrows gonna poke here. Paralyzed is on my tail now. And if I had to guess, that thing's focus ash, right? Thousand arrows should be able to eat boys. Thank you, Zacian. Survive on four. That's gorgeous. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. Chip up some damage onto you. Done. See you later, Grimstarl. Unless that thing's sashed. It's not sashed, because Zygarde probably has a sash. And then Quake's gonna fly across here. Quake is gonna fly across. It kinda hurts because you should be dead. You should be dead. You shouldn't even have this focus ash though. Upsetting. I wish I did have quick attack on this thing. But oh it doesn't even trigger focus ash. That's fine. I think it's just able to circle. Plus they're on special defense, but dude, special defense still nothing for us. I wish we had steel spike all day today. And of course this thing's gonna power construct. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> of course this thing's gonna power construct. Dude, you should be dead. You should be gone. I don't care. I do not care. You should be dead. You should be gone. You shouldn't even have this HP. You're lucky. You're lucky. That's what you are. You are lucky. You're not good. You're lucky. You're lucky. Who's he going to bring out here? Your Veltus can come out here. Special defense boost is going to be hot for us. We would like that. Stone Edge might be able to do some work on you. Dark Roar is out and about. Foul play can do a sturdy too. All right, Groudon. Let's see what you're cooking here. Let's see what you're cooking here. You're obviously going to drop a thousand arrows. Going for a stone edge. I'm looking for the KO here. I'm going for his play rough. Can we land this one maybe? Maybe he can miss an attack? That could be nice if he can miss an attack. It's only I miss attacks. Oh, I still have my Chandelure. I totally forgot. We still have Chandelure. I totally forgot about Chandelure. That's dope. That is dope. So if we can land a stone edge, woo! We could be, that could be nice for us. Let's see what he goes into. Sucker Punch can come through here. He can go in the ground on with Sucker Punch. It's a little weird. They went for a Sucker Punch like that. Thousand hours can come out here. Ground us should be able to soak up a thousand hours. Actually, I think it's a huge attack boost, but now nah, we soak it up. Cool. We soak it up. Zassian goes down here. Can he land a stone edge, please? Don't be paralyzed. Thank you. Give me that crit. Just take him out. Let's go. That's big plays. That's big plays. Okay, so we still have focus ash. Thousand hours can do a lot of damage onto us, but uh let's get after it. Sunlight's gone, man. Sunlight's gone. We have the focus ash. Alex, what's gonna do? Nothing. We just gotta go straight for attack. Shadow balls on top of blades. We're rolling out after this. Let's go, Chandelure. Can't believe we missed that play rough, man. God dang Pokemon, man. God dang Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Let's go blades here. Into a shadow ball. All day. All day long. We're obviously going for a thousand arrows. He outspeeds me, which hurts. So we gotta, we gotta kind of get rid of him here. But my ground's soaking this. My ground's soaking. He's soaking good. Shadow Ball is poking out here. Can we land his blades, please? I really need to not be paralyzed here. That comes out strong. Groudon's paralyzed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can blades take that out? I mean, we're plus one on attack. He's going for another arrows. We just need to We just need to be able to land his blades. I think we win this match. Thousand Arrows comes out here. Connects again. We'll say bye-bye to Shandle. Groudon, let's go. Now it's time trying. You might be able to actually eat up another one. Don't be paralyzed again. Don't you dare be paralyzed again. Land his blades for the squad. Land this blades for squad. Can you eat this? Please? <laughs> I swear. I swear you'll eat this up, Groudon. Eat this up, buddy. What do you guys want me to do? What do you guys want me to do? 
I am just astonished. I am astonished at the amount of moves we missed in three battles today. In three battles. I know I know I promised you guys a winning record or even a perfect record, and we ended up going one and two. But you guys know for dang sure we should have been three and oh. This is this should have been a video that we had a perfect record with. We outplayed our opponents all day long. We got to showcase everybody. Battles were flowing nicely. We just missed a bunch of player offs and a bunch of precipice blades, which is which really hurts us all, losing battles like that. I'd rather lose battles like our opponent making some crazy cool plays, them having items that we weren't expecting, just something like that. But when you lose to a miss attack, it just feels like you didn't lose, you know what I'm saying? But one and two for today's video. Definitely should have had ourselves a perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.